In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the Von Duprin 9899 rim exit device. We will install a standard 99 rim fire device with a blank escutcheon lever trim on a fire rated hollow metal door that has been prepped according to Von Duprin templates. For other device and trim variations, please follow the installation instructions. These are the tools you will need. In the box, you will find the exit device, trim, screw packs, strike and shim, end cap, template, and installation instructions. If this is a new construction project, check the hardware schedule to confirm you have the correct exit device for the opening. Use only fasteners provided with the exit device. Note the screw chart. This can help you identify all the necessary screws. Draw a horizontal line through the center of the cylinder tailpiece cutout and onto the strike side of the door. Close the door. Mark a dot on the frame where the center line meets the frame. Use the square to extend that line across the frame. We are using a 299F strike, which is installed the same way as a 299 strike. If your installation calls for a 499F strike, see the instructions on page 8. Place the strike on the frame with the roller against the door. Align the center hole over the center line and mark the two slotted holes. Center punch in the middle of the elongated hole mark. Drill and tap the bottom and top holes using the number 25 drill and the number 10-24 tap. Mount the strike on the frame using the two included screws. Position the plastic template on the door as shown. Align the center hole of the template with the cylinder tailpiece cutout. The arrow on the hinge side of the template should be pointing to the center line. If the center hole of the template does not line up with the cylinder tailpiece cutout, contact the supplier of your door for support. Mark the upper and lower vertical lines. Mark the six holes. If you are using outside trim, continue the center line to the trim side of the door. Mark vertical line XX perpendicular to the center line and through the center of the cylinder tailpiece cutout. Using the trim installation instructions, mark the locations for the two upper mounting holes and drill the holes with the specified bit. Use the preparation chart on page 3 to determine the drill bits and depth of holes for center case and trim. Drill the six holes for the center case. The holes to be drilled vary depending on door and trim type. This chart, found in the installation instructions, can be used to ensure the holes are drilled properly. If you are using lever trim, please take note of the following two applications. When installing trim that has an operational lever and an outside cylinder to lock and unlock the trim, you must remove the NL drive screw from the back of the exit device with the 5 64 inch hex wrench. 
when installing trim that has an operational lever and a blank escutcheon, as this video demonstrates, you may need to rehand the exit device. If your opening is left hand reverse, remove the NL drive screw, rotate the cylinder cam clockwise, and reinsert the NL drive screw. If your exit trim has a cylinder, install the tailpiece guide into the center case, ensuring proper orientation to your tailpiece. The tailpiece in your cylinder may need to be cut to fit properly into the center case. When the trim and cylinder are properly installed, the tailpiece should extend beyond the door by 7 to 9 sixteenths of an inch. The trim installation instructions will help you cut your tailpiece to the proper length. There must be a minimum of 1.5 inches clearance between the end of the exit device with the end cap removed and the frame. If there is not, your exit device will need to be cut. With the door closed, mark the position of the stop on the door. Measure and mark a line that is a minimum of 1.5 inches from that mark. With the cover plate in place, Wrap masking tape around the exit device in the approximate area where the cut line will be drawn. With the door open, align the exit device on the mounting holes and mark the cut line on the tape. Use the square to mark the cut line on the tape all the way around the exit device. Remove the anti-rattle clip. Carefully cut the exit device. Ensure the cut is square. Using a miter box can help. Remove any burrs with a file. Reinstall the anti-rattle clip a minimum of 2 inches into the exit device. Install the trim and secure the center case to the door with the reinforcing bracket and four provided screws. Slide the end cap bracket into the exit device and mark the two holes for the end cap bracket. Use a level on the exit device to ensure proper positioning. Then, remove the exit device from the door and drill and tap the holes. The preparation chart in the instructions will guide you. Reinstall the exit device and install the end cap bracket and end cap with the provided screws. Use the screw chart to identify the proper screws. Install the two support screws. For fire rated wood or composite doors, use sex bolts with the screws. Install the center case cover with the four provided screws. Remove the protective film from the push bar. From the inside of the door, make sure the latch is fully extended when engaged with the strike. From the outside of the door, make sure the door cannot be pulled open. If the latch doesn't fully engage, the strike can be moved closer to, or further away from, the door stop. If the door can be opened from the outside, a shim may be used under the strike. Complete the installation by securing the strike with the third screw. For assistance, contact Customer Care at 877-671-7011.